Hello, my name is Dr. Aaron Moreland. I'm the owner and the clinical director of Vallejo Health and Wellness Center. And I want to welcome you to Vallejo Health and Wellness Center today. What I want to do today is I want to take you on a tour of our office so that when you come into our office, it'll be familiar to you and that you can see what it is that we do on your first visit that you come into the office. So why don't you come on in with me? So this here is our reception area. When you first come into the office, you're going to notice a few things that makes our office unique right away. First thing you're going to notice is that our, our staff, this is one of our receptionists, Chris, is very loving and kind. And uh, when, they first, when you first walk in, you're going to feel that. You're going to see a great big smile and you're going to know that you've come to the right place. And so another thing that you're also going to notice is that as you come back, is they're going to remember who you are. A lot of times we go to places, go to medical clinics, go to dentists, and they really can't remember your name. But here, we really feel that you're part of our family when you start care in our office. So another thing you're going to notice is that we do have fresh fruit on the office here. Every day that you come in, there'll be some fruit here because we really want to promote healthy eating and promote a healthy lifestyle. We'll also, we do have uh, an area where you can grab yourself some tea and grab and sit and, uh, and uh, just relax. It's a place where you can come and already experience healing as soon as you walk in the door. Let me bring you back to my office. One of the chiropractic offices here, as you can see, we have a couple different tables here. If you've been to a chiropractor's office before, this one here might look familiar, this one may be a little less familiar, but it's because of the different techniques we use. We utilize lots of different uh, techniques in this office, and the reason we do that is we find that not everybody responds well to just one technique, and we have found that certain techniques work really well for others, and certain techniques uh, uh, work uh, better for, the, for other people. So we utilize techniques where we're using our hands. Now for some people, that's not, uh, that's not an enjoyable experience. In fact, a lot of people that's a very um, uh, concerning or discomforting thinking of someone grabbing your neck and, and adjusting it. And so they tend to think of, say, Arnold Schwarzenegger grabbing your neck. And so that's, for those people, we use light force techniques. And those light force techniques, it can be using an instrument, it can be using uh, uh, other things as well, a table that uh, drops down. And so we utilize those techniques so that when a person comes in, they will get the best care possible and they'll get the best results possible by having those different techniques as well. And so in my office, I see a lot of different uh, types of, uh, of uh, patients. I see children as, as early as just a few hours old to patients that are in their, in their elderly years. And, uh, and we get great results with those people. My focus, though, is mostly working with patients that are dealing with, uh, with a specific condition. Maybe they're dealing with a repetitive stress issue that they have, maybe from just sitting at a computer desk all day long. Or it might be from a sports injury, or it may be even as, as uh, um, serious as getting into a car accident and helping those people to get back to the, to the life that they once had. And so that's what we do in this office here. And so next we're going to move on to Dr. Rob's office. Rob. Yeah, Rob. Hi. So Hello. Dr. Rob, he is one of the other chiropractors here. He graduated from uh, Northwestern Health Sciences University, which is the chiropractic school just over here in Bloomington. And Dr. Rob specializes in taking care of people with chronic health issues, things like fibromyalgia, thyroid issues, uh, auto, autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis. So Dr. Rob, the way he does that is very unique is he takes a neurometabolic approach. Neuro just meaning working with the neurology, metabolic meaning working nutritionally with helping people to regain their health. And so he'll utilize many different chiropractic techniques as well, uh, techniques that are light force as you can see him adjusting right now. He's uh, looking at, he's doing some neurological testing and so when he does adjust, he'll use an instrument sometimes, sometimes he'll use his hands as well, sometimes that, uh, he'll use a thing called an arthrostem, which is uh, an instrument that, uh, that vibrates and, and, and does impulses. So uh, we use a lot of different techniques than most uh, chiropractors do, and that's why we get such uh, great results, is it's a, an it's approach that most people, most chiropractors don't take, and it's an approach that most people have never experienced before. So let's head on down the, down the hall. And this is Carrie. This is our office manager. And so what, she, what Carrie does is she really, her
her focus is helping our patients have the best experience they could possibly have. So she'll work with whether it's uh, uh, procedural type of things that we do in our office to insurance to helping people to understand their bills and their statements and so a uh, very valuable person to have in our office. As you can see, we have another TV, again, just a way for us to tell people what we're doing in the office and also a way for us to communicate better um, healthy habits for people. To now this room is a room we call our BACS room. This is where we use a technology that we call frequency technology. And so when you look at uh, today's day and age and what people are dealing with, a lot of people are dealing with food sensitivities and food allergies and dealing with outdoor allergies, allergies that we've never seen before. When you look at uh, the amount of allergies that we have currently, we look at people dealing with uh, with peanut allergies, things that we've never even heard of before. Uh, when I was going to school, I don't remember anyone having a peanut allergy, and now we're seeing that you can't even bring a peanut butter sandwich to school. And so why is that? Well, it can be dealing with certain frequencies. And so what this does is this looks at frequencies and looks to see what kind of frequencies a person's having a negative response to. And then what you can do is you can actually use a laser, introduce that frequency into their body, and what that allows that person's body to do now is it sees that substance no longer as a negative substance, but either neutral or even a positive experience. So that person will no longer have a negative response to that certain substance. And uh, pretty cool to see, we've seen people dealing with, with food allergies that couldn't eat certain foods, that now they're able to eat those uh, foods again. We've seen people dealing with outdoor allergies that when we treated them for either the outdoor things or even just uh, treated them for certain foods, now they're able to go out in the outdoors and not have those responses. And then a big one for a lot of people is uh, pet allergies, people not being able to be around certain animals, now they can because uh, treating them for those uh, for those responses, those negative responses, and making them a positive one. So we're going to head on to the next room. What we do here is, after going through a complete exam, after sitting down with the person, figuring out exactly what's wrong with them, what we do here is we sit down with them, show them what's going on. We talk about what the problem really is. We try to figure out exactly whether we can help them or not. Once we've determined that, we'll sit down and tell them what's wrong. We'll tell them what it's uh, um, going to take to take care of that problem as far as the, the time, the, the type of treatment, uh, all the different uh, uh, modalities that we may use to help them to get their health back. And then we sit down to and go over what it would cost them. So they know everything up front. That way they can make a decision based on great information. They can really find out whether we can help them, how much it's going to, how much time it's going to take and how much it's going to cost. So when a person uh, decides to choose care in our office, they feel like they're in the right spot because they know exactly what's going on and what's going to happen. Let's head on over to the exam room. In the exam room, this is the room where we do determine whether someone is uh, dealing with something that we can deal with, whether it's, whether it's something that um, we take care of in the office or not. So when a person comes first comes into our office, what they'll do is when they first come in to the office, they'll bring in their forms, they'll bring in uh, the paperwork that we have them fill out online, but then we also have them bring in any tests that they've had recently, whether that be blood tests or MRIs or other special tests. We have them bring those in and we, and we and, uh, get that information from them and then we sit down with them here, do a history, figure out what's going on, what symptoms they're dealing with, and then we do uh, very specific tests. Those tests are going to be, again, looking at the neurology, seeing how their nervous system is working, looking at uh, metabolically, how their body's functioning uh, uh, chemically, and then what we do is we gather all that information so that when we sit down, uh, sometimes it's as a team, sometimes just the individual uh, doctor figuring out what's going on, then when we sit down, whether we can help them or not, we have all the information that we need so that when we sit down with them in the consultation room, we'll be able to give them uh, exactly what's going on. So this is our massage room and in our massage room we have a few different uh, massage therapists. Uh, as you can see that it's a fairly big room uh, compared to what you see in most massage therapists room. And the reason why is that the massage therapists that work in our office, we do do the typical generic massages such as uh, your Swedish massage or even your deep tissue massage, but we'll also do a lot of other types of massage like Thai massage, uh, Russian uh, sports massage, we'll also use uh, more light force techniques such as raindrop technique where they're using essential oils. You can see that there's a lot of different essential oils that a person could be using to help with their health. We also will use uh, 
uh, neurological type of massages, uh, working on uh, reflexes, uh, working on children a lot of times, working with people that are dealing, that are dealing with uh, neural neurological issues and so our massage therapists can do that as well. Uh, cranial sacral therapy is another one and so as you can see and he, and here that these techniques are not typical and again this is why we see the results that we see in our office is we don't take the, the typical approach that most massage therapists take we don't take the same uh, typical approach that most chiropractors take it's a very unique approach and because of that we can see people that have seen many other practitioners whether they're medical doctors chiropractors physical therapists occupational therapists we can see those people even though they weren't helped by those people we are able to help them because we take that very unique approach. Hope you enjoyed the tour and we will see you over in my office today.